Henry Block was a successful business leader, dedicated husband and father, and a passionate philanthropist. Without him, we would not have this building where I'm standing, the Block Executive Hall. It is a location that's used by hundreds of people every day. We at UMKC are eternally grateful for all the contributions Henry has made to UMKC and to Kansas City. Henry Block led an extraordinary life. He was part of the 95th Bomb Group. He served as a navigator on a B-17. He flew 32 missions over enemy territory, and for the service, he received numerous awards. This was his jacket that he wore on all 32 missions, his leather jacket that he gave to my son, and now it's with the foundation. Family was of great importance to Henry. He was married to the love of his life, Marion, for over 60 years, and they had four wonderful children together. We would have the Board of Trustees meeting, and at a certain time, if the meeting was running long, Henry would get up and leave. What I learned was it was time for him to go spend time with Marion. I just remember so often my mom would come behind him. She was such an affectionate person, and she would start kissing him and hugging him and trying to make him laugh. And, and he would giggle. He would but... giggle. After years of operating a, what he would describe as a very unsuccessful small bookkeeping business, he and his brother Richard created Eastern Block in 1955, which today is an internationally successful, well-known tax preparation business. He was the face of H&R Block for many, many years. He did the television commercials. He became sort of a celebrity nationally. The forms are different, but our people know how to use them and we'll find you the biggest refund you have coming. He felt that the people of Kansas City were the ones who embraced this novel concept of tax preparation, paid tax preparation. And because of that, he and of course the company became very, very successful. He was so humble and he really believed that credit should go to the person that deserves it. He was all about doing the right things for the right reasons and he genuinely cared about people. I remember my first lunch with Henry, and we were, it was in the summertime, and we we're chatting, and we we're talking about baseball, and I mentioned that I grew up as a Chicago Cub fan. And Henry looks at me and says, so we switch. Because for Henry, it was about Kansas City. And if I was gonna be dean of the block school, I needed to be for Kansas City. He was a good friend. Um, we went out to eat in places that guys like him would not go to today. Spin pizza, Wednesday, it's just, just normal places. There was nothing like seeing Henry eat ice cream. The passion he had for ice cream was something that the, the inner child on any one of us comes back, and he was amazing. Kansas City has more philanthropy per capita than any other city in the world. And I think you can, you can point to Henry as a godfather in 2011, we formed the Marion and Henry Block Family Foundation. Through that, we were able to continue his legacy of giving. Uh, he and Marion were tremendously involved in our community. Uh, that will go on for perpetuity. So our goal is to continue to make Kansas City a better place to live for generations to come. The three major organizations that Dad was most involved in during the latter part of his life were the Nelson Atkins Museum, UMKC, and specifically the Block School of Management and St. Luke's Hospital. So I think one of the greatest uh, and most joyful experience was visiting Henry's home and seeing the works of art as he lived with them, as Marion and him cared and created a collection that was very personal uh, to him. Each one had a story. He always bought these paintings in dialogue and in conversation with all my predecessors at the museum, with our curators, well knowing from the instance that he was going to donate all his collection to Kansas City. And I think one of the things that he saw is how people derive so much pleasure. All of these galleries were totally redone thanks to his generosity. Dad wanted to see his artwork at the museum. 
So he, he gave it to them early. And he had also the pleasure of receiving anonymous letters from people who just walked into these halls thanking him for making public something that he had enjoyed in such a privacy of his home. Henry Block made the Block School, Kansas City's business school, because he connected us with this community. He created excitement about the opportunities here at the Block School. He invested in creating excellence, and when you put all that together, he positioned us to really serve this community. Launchpad is a scholarship program that provides opportunities for social events, community service, and professional enrichment sessions. Uh, personally, I've been able to hear from UMKC professors and industry professionals in Kansas City, and that has been really beneficial in furthering my career. His generosity really has allowed so many students to come here and really maximize their college experience. So, to me, he's a great guy. <laughs> We're providing opportunities to students by giving them a great education, but we're only doing it effectively because of partnerships with organizations in this region. The Block Scholarship was a gift to the university. It's a scholarship that's given to non-traditional students. The scholarship program was designed to help students who would otherwise not be eligible for a scholarship. And Dad loved that part of it because he was not a great student. Without this scholarship, I wouldn't be able to even graduate with my associate. I'm one of the lucky people that get to have this scholarship. And I'm the first in my family to graduate from a university and it has truly changed my life. You believe in the kids from our community when there are a lot of people who didn't even believe in their own kids. He believed in them, and I am one of them. <laughs> so I think, and I personally will always remember him as a man who made my dream come true. I remember that when he would join a room for, with the Block Scholars, he would say how proud of us he was. I mean, you can look at Henry's passion for students, and you can measure that by the number of times he showed up. I don't know of any student that he touched that, that doesn't still feel it today. The Marion Block Neuroscience Institute is really uh, one of the showcases of Henry's philanthropy to uh, St. Luke's. Our ability to take advantage of, of the science and of the changes in medicine really will be impacted by extra dollars and philanthropy and the ability to bring the best and brightest to Kansas City, and that's what Henry was looking for. When our mom was 58 years old, she had a brain tumor, and that's why he wanted it to focus on neurology at St. Luke's. Henry, uh, with his involvement on the board of St. Luke's, really wanted to have an institution that was committed to uh, the city, committed to the community, and uh, also had the potential to really raise the bar in healthcare in Kansas City. And I think he knew uh, instinctively that philanthropy is that extra margin, and that um, his philanthropy over the years really has enabled St. Luke's to do a number of things that we might have done, but certainly not on the scale and in the time that we did them. I think ultimately dad will be remembered for his love for Kansas City. Henry would want his legacy for students to be. Block is a place where you can learn skills that will allow you to build a life, to build a career, and after achieving success, to give back to Kansas City. He lived to make the world a better place. And that's the same, same thing I'm doing. And so I believe that's his, that's his legacy. And we're gonna to continue to just let people know how special Henry Block was. Many children will be inspired by these works of art. Maybe one becomes a scholar, maybe another an entrepreneur. But the creativity and the imagination that these works elicit is what his legacy for the future will be. What he really wanted is for Kansas Cityans to get the best health care at home and not to have to travel. And I think that legacy and that emphasis on quality and uh, expertise is really his legacy for Kansas City and certainly for St. Luke's. I believe that the people of Kansas City have a debt to Henry. We owe it to Henry to keep his memory alive and celebrate his life in the community. 
he's beyond compare. I think I would describe him as a person who's probably heard thank you more than anybody else on the planet because he's done so much.